What is going on, you guys? It's your boy, Artie, Executive Director of Film is Art, and today we are taking a look at Jackson Powers Johnson, the center from Oregon. This is an all-American player. This is one of the most fearsome, most nasty most fundamentally sound players in this entire draft and a player whose mom follows us on twitter shout out to you miss powers johnson but anyway jackson powers johnson man just a phenomenal prospect had an outstanding season after playing guard his sophomore season his junior season filling in at center and cemented himself in my humble opinion as a first round prospect jackson powers johnson is just the tip of the iceberg of what you look for as a center you're going to see throughout this film session a variety of different blocks you know variety of you know traits like athleticism like you know like you know just motor and toughness you know just brute strength just the ability to seal the ability to reach one of the best reach blockers i have seen ever in my scouting career so jackson powers johnson definitely a fun player and definitely just gonna kick back and enjoy the tape today um jackson powers johnson as you guys are seeing when it comes to engaging on his blocks he is the enforcer like there's never going to be a play where you're watching Jackson Powers Johnson block and he's not the guy who's looking like he's making first contact. Like he's trying to essentially take that defender and put him on his ass before he has a chance to do that to him. And you love that mentality, especially from a center. You see, the center is such an important piece of the offensive line. The center not only is responsible for, you know, snapping the ball to the quarterback you know a lot of times you see on this play you know kick out blocker and all that but you know center is also responsible for protections you know center is responsible for letting the quarterback know hey you know this is the mic hey this person this person might be coming that person might be coming and Jackson Powers Johnson really made life easy on quarterback Bo Nix I attribute you know Jackson Powers Johnson's high level play to you know part of why Bo Nix in that Oregon offense was so successful. That's how talented of a player he is and why we at Filmus Art, you know, value him the way we do. Our offensive line scout, shout out to Alex. Um love Jackson Powers Johnson. He he is one of his favorite players, not only in this entire class, but one of his favorite players he's ever evaluated. So just had to, you know, plug that in for him. So his opinion is out there on the player, but back to the tape again you see here right the way he fires off the ball watch the snap here fires off the ball immediately engages and look at just the leg drive to finish the play like when when you're when you're already opening up a hole the way he just did and you finish the play by just landing on the guy i mean that's ugh, that's nasty now jackson powers johnson is not a perfect player there are times where he can get out leveraged, as you're seeing on this play here. The failed attempt by the double team by him and the left guard there. Just simply got out leveraged there and um, came to bite him in the end. Um, just have to, just have to, you know, have a better, you know, base there for better leverage on, you know, the next possession. Here's a really good example of a kickout block. Um, Jason Kelsey from Philadelphia Eagles. Shout out to Jason Kelsey, who just recently, recently retired. Really makes that block look a lot easier than it is. And just look at how Jackson Powers Johnson not only kickout blocks his man, but then gets his, has the audacity to mitigate the gall to put his hands on another guy as he's trying to get into the play. Just, just a fun overall player to watch. Um, I really like Jackson Powers Johnson's ability to, you know, move, right? You know, a lot of playing offensive line, you know, obviously is blocking, 
you know, obviously is, you know, being powerful, being strong. But when it comes to Jackson Powers Johnson, man, his movement skills, as you guys are seeing right here, are simply outstanding. Like, look at how he gets to the second level there, right? You see, fires off the ball after a snap, immediately helps the guard on double team there. And then, look, he's finding more work. That's exactly what you look for in offensive linemen. Once you handle your assignment, once you stand on your business, go find some other business to stand on. And Jackson Powers Johnson is like the ideal example of, you know, the the the, the cleanup man, right? Someone got to spill somewhere else. He's most definitely going to come and help mop it up for, you know, his team to continue to, you know, get that running back or even if it's a screen pass, you know, that receiver a couple more yards. He's also notorious for going downfield and, you know, blocking after the play for, you know, his receivers on screen passes. This is this is a very interesting play here because you see the defender, he's blocked to the point where he attempts to kick um, the running back there. So shout out to Jack and Powers Johnson for having such a good block. The man had to kick you. I mean, my goodness, that's that's pretty cool, right? If you block someone that well that they have to try to trip you, that's uh, that's pretty impressive. Looking here at a really, really good attempt at a seal block now. Again, he got kind of caught by his own teammate there. Uh, that's the only reason he really lost his balance. But you see the turn, right? You see the way he got him to turn. Just truly, just truly an effective player when it comes to all kind of blocks. You know, when you're trying to seal someone, you're really trying to get, you know, them to turn and you to, you know, stay square. And he does a good job staying square there, even though he lost his balance. So even though he lost his balance and wasn't able to maintain, a very, very good job, um, you know, maintaining, you know, that block. Good job here getting to the second level. Now, I don't like how he allowed that defender. No, I guess I guess that's a safety. Or maybe, I can't tell. I don't, I don't know what that player is. I'm not going to like it. I do. Kind of, kind of just, you know, slips under him there. But you see the, you know, you see the effort, right, to get to the second level. You know, and he, he knows. He knows he messed up on that play. But what I like to see and why I include this play in the session is you see where Jackson Powers Johnson is thinking, right? You know, a lot of football is physical, but a lot of football is also mental. So when it comes to, you know, getting to the second level, you know, if you see a lineman, you know, especially a center consistently trying to get to the second level, that player understands, you know, the value of, okay, my assignment's done or no one's here to block. Let me find some work. Good job here. Just nothing is really, you know, nothing is really going here. So he just continues to try to push. Um, this play was really blown up. But again, you see the movement, right? Like they're using him as a puller here. Like he he's the puller. Like he like he like he's assigned to pull on this play. And you don't ask your centers to pull like that unless you really trust them in the open field and Oregon obviously trusted Jackson Powers Johnson with how good of an athlete he was really really good block here now again he did not have the help that he needed but it's a really really good block by Jackson Powers Johnson if the other players do their job on the left side there, that back side is open for Bucky Irving. He should have a really nice crease. But as you see, you know, the left guard there kind of just, you know, got in the way. And the defensive tackle kind of just shed him and made a play on the running back. Good look here of, you know, the the leverage issue I talked about earlier in the red zone. See, off the snap, just basically got blown up. Um, now let's get to the fun, right? Let's get to seeing him in the screen game. Really, really good job on his Jason Kelsey. Uh, there, you know, ah, disengage, ah, get off. And then look at him, look at him, look at him come back and seal. Let's look at the way he seals with his hands out. See, Jason Kelsey style, baby. Shout out to Jason Kelsey. 
best centers to ever play this game. But again, you see the movement skills, right? See the movement skills, see the way he's moving in open space. That's 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 good movement for a center. Real balanced, you know, very, very in control. Again, here on the seal. And then pass attempt, see how he's see how he's uh getting 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 to the side and staying square. That's the proper technique for you know that seal block. And now we're just in the regular pass pro. So in pass pro, Jackson Powers Johnson is pretty good. He's not great, you know, he's not, you know, elite. He's not bad either, but he's pretty good. As you guys are seeing, you know, in pass pro, you know, he's just holding his ground. Right. And and, and you know, no player is perfect. I think I think a lot of his pass pro um is, you know. Well, it looks the way it looks is probably because he played guard last year, which is not a bad thing, you know. Playing having that center guard flexibility, you know, really helps uh, for NFL teams evaluating you. But you see, you know, he's really wide with his hands. There's like his hands just be in just a little bit more. I know it's just nitpicking, but you know, gotta be gotta be honest here on the channel to give you guys the best review of this player possible. Really good block here. I like that. By um, Jackson Powers Johnson. See the way he just seals him and turns him. Does what he's supposed to do there on that play. Getting here, nice pass off. Then look at the physical finish there. Um, again, like this is this is this is part of his game where you know we, we he's pretty good. He's he's all around all around. He's pretty good at everything, but. The pass pro is something that I would like to, you know, see him continue to get better at over time. It's not like, again, it's not like he's bad at it, but we just like, just like to see him, you know, continue to work and continue to get better because he does have potential to be e e a even better pass protector than he already is now. See how wide he is with his hands. You know, he's got to bring those hands in just a little bit more. Good job here dealing with the, dealing with the uh, hands and the chest. Interior pressure is, you know, the pressure that really, really affects the quarterbacks. Like, obviously, you know, an edge, you know, screaming off, you know, at a high speed, you know, would probably, you know, threaten a quarterback, make a quarterback feel threatened. But that interior pressure, that makes it tough for you to, you know, see your passing lane. You know, that makes it tough for you to see the undercutting linebackers. So, you know, interior pressure, uh, the blocking from your guards and your centers is very, very important in, you're seeing Jackson Power Johnson, you know, put his best foot forward as far as in the pass blocking department. Really good job here, one on one handling, you know, basically hands to the throat, the best he can there. Um, yes, I can talk a little bit about team fits. Uh, Miami Dolphins, Jackson Power Johnson makes a ton of sense. Also, sneaky team but a team where <laughs> i guess i'm showing a little bit of bias uh dallas cowboys also would be a great fit for jack and powers johnson i think you know with them not trying to really pay you know tyler biotis in for agency i think adding a center like jackson powers johnson could really solidify you know that that line in the middle give them you know some better better presence some more power and um, offer some more, you know, versatility in the run game and some better protection for um, Dak Prescott. But yeah, Jackson Powers Johnson again, and one of my favorite players in this class. One of the <laughs> one of the easiest film evaluations you're gonna see. You know, I'm not really saying that much because really the tape speaks for itself. Look at the way he handled that bull rush right there. That's really, really good, Jackson. You're going to see this bull rush coming from 95. You see how he uh, gets those hands up and then push it. Gets those hands up and continues to push him to the outside. That's absolutely perfect technique for handling the bull rush. Here's Jackson Powers Johnson's evaluation. You can read that at your own leisure.
And here are Jackson Powers Johnson's team fits. If you like this video, please like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. Have a blessed day, you guys.